I'm going to make it do the plasma tower damage. So the display damage effect is just what weapon to use. And you see here, I'm just quickly making it target. Right now, ground target was required. I changed it so ground target is not required. So now I can attack air with this anti-ground weapon by changing the validator, removing the validator, and changing the target filters, as you just saw. Now I'm changing the range and the random delay. But anyways, as I was saying, the display damage effect is linked to the UI, so when you hover over a unit's weapon, it tells you how much damage it does. So you want to make sure it points to the right weapon for that, in the right effect for that in your weapon. So now we go to actors, um, and we need to make an actor for our attack. So what we need to do is find the battle cruiser ground attack, and we don't need to worry about the missile, just the ground attack, since we want to keep it look the same. So we're going to use the we're going to reuse the missile. We're going to make a new ground attack actor. So now I'm going to add the prefix and then rename it. So the reason why we don't have to make a new missile is again because we want to keep the same look that the current battle cruiser shot has. If I wanted to change how the shot looks, I would need to use a different missile actor or I would need to copy the missile actor and then change it. But since we don't need to do that, all I need to do is make an copy the attack actor for the battle cruiser, battle cruiser attack, copy it, rename it, and then I'm going to change the impact effect to be my damage and the launch effect to be my missile. And I'm just copying the same thing that it had before and then changing it from to point to battle cruiser to point to mine. So I'm just replacing the equivalent things. So now I want to look through here to the launch attachment query. This is where the projectile is shot from. So if you want it to look like the your custom unit is actually shooting the projectile and it's not just appearing out of midair, then you need to look at the whatever the actor is for your for your base unit, in this case the photon cannon. I need to look at the photon cannon attack, see where the photon cannon projectiles originate. And then for the battle cruiser attack that I copied, I need to change the launch attachment query to match exactly what the photon cannon has. Otherwise, it will look funny when I use the weapon. So now I'm going to delete the extra stuff. And there we go. I copied it from photon cannon. So now the plasma tower attack should launch from the correct location so it looks nice and uniform. So those are all the things I had to change. Now I'm going to save it and I'm going to go ahead and place a unit on the map and then I'm going to test it. Now um, as you'll see uh, I do make a mistake. I forgot to assign this new custom weapon to my custom unit so I'm going to test it. It's not going to work properly. It's not going to shoot the battle cruiser shots and then I'm going to have to redo it. But I'm going to take this time to talk about um, what I'm doing for my YouTube channel StarCraft Scientist I'm very much into the editor. I'm more of a map maker than I am a multiplayer ladder player. So if you want, I will still make some videos about the multiplayer beta. And if you send me tips and I think they're interesting, I will make a video about it. But right now I'm spending all of my free time on the editor making maps. And I'm gonna start making these tutorials to help other people make maps. So if you're a fan of my show, um, I'd really like it if you send me messages saying what you want to see from my channel. Um, I do very much want this to be sort of a service and sort of uh, an interactive experience where I want you guys to be able to make suggestions and for me to follow them as best as I can. So, so yeah. Um, now going back to this, so now I have to do one last step that I forgot to do, which is to change the weapon of my custom unit to point to the new custom weapon plasma tower that I made. And then I'm going to do some double checking, but that was all I had to change. Okay, and so yeah, so this was a quick rundown of how to duplicate a unit, make give it an actor, duplicate a weapon, give the weapon an actor, and then assign the new weapon to a unit. So basic rundown of how to make a custom unit. There's a lot more complex stuff um, with abilities and upgrades, so I'm going to make 
more videos in the future, tutorial videos for the editor. I will also release my map hopefully in a couple days and then do a, a video run through of the map maybe. So again, um, I hope uh, people find this video interesting. I understand a lot of people aren't in the beta, um, though more and more keys are being given out every day. So hopefully everyone who wants one will get one eventually. But uh, I do want to make some tutorials for the editor. And um, so here we get to see the final product, photon cannon that shoots battlecruiser shots. Sorry that the screen is flashing so much. It's because I used a program that can capture the editor because Fraps does not capture the editor, but in game, um, Fraps is much better. So I'll use that in the future to record my in game footage. Anyways, this is Dark Scientist. I hope you found this interesting and helpful.